So everybody, welcome to another episode of Not Taking Orders. I'm here with my favorite natural blonde, Andrew Cates, and I love that you have a monogram belt buckle, by the way. It's the little you. details. It is. It is. So Andrew has a really exciting story to tell us today about superfoods, which I love because I want to be sold on the next diet craze or anything that's going to make me healthy. And you promised that your product would help prevent cancer. So how did you, we're going to talk about, now you call it raisins? Yes. Okay. So, so, so we are the wine raisin company. And uh, I guess if you had to think about it, the wine raisin company at its core is the ultimate upcycling company for the wine industry. We take what is considered waste and we repurpose it into something useful, healthy, and sustainable. So that's very like Kumbaya, North California. It's very California. Kumbaya. Were you born here in Northern California? I was not. I was Where not. are you from? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, that's why you're so polite. I love Southerners. Yeah, Chivalry's not dead. How Chivalry did you, is not how dead. How did you get into this? So, but you live here in Napa now. I do. Okay. You, and you're, you told me you were up on Mount Vitor. Yes. I hear cell phone service up there is awesome. It's, it's, I'll tell you what, I have a landline. Okay, perfect. Yes, and, you do. And that is 100% necessary. <laughs> uh, not only from a safety standpoint, but actually just, you know, keeping in touch and not being a hermit. Okay, yeah. So, so have necessary. you always been like a guru of superfoods, or how did this idea come around? Well, uh, I'll tell you. So, so my family's been in the wine industry for, um, for you know, a number of years. And um, most recently, we, we bought a property up on Mount Vitor called Sagasi Vineyard. And uh, my parents were out uh, visiting for that first harvest about three years ago. And... Um, you know, after the harvest day, it was the first harvest, it was big, you know, like, so exciting. What vintage, it was three years ago, was that 2012? Yeah, 2012. Oh, God, you guys bought a vineyard at the right time. And, okay, go ahead. And um, anyways, it was, uh, so, so we were walking through with my dad, um, and, you know, we noticed that 3 to 5% of the entire vineyard was not picked. Um, we didn't know why this was. So we got picking bins, and we went through and actually collected the remaining stuff. That's not easy work. It's not. It's not. And you probably weren't out there at four in the morning like everybody else when it's nice and cool. No, I, I was out there. I was just watching. I was trying not to get in the way. Yeah, and that's I was, a good idea. I was, you know, I was following instructions. And um, so, uh, you know, that evening we, we picked all the stuff and had a nice dinner and we're sitting out under the gazebo. Now, my father is a uh, retired cardiologist. And we're sitting there and we're just, we're just eating them. And we're eating them for dessert, essentially. Mm -hmm. And um, they were really good. And my dad was sitting back and he's like, you know what? I bet these are really, really good for you. Because everyone knows about the French paradox. Uh, like a glass of wine is so good for you and it has you know, in, in polyphenols, antioxidants, the health benefits associated with wine. So at that point, we started working with a, with a PhD food scientist and we started actually looking in, you know, under the hood of what is, is in a wine grape. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, what we found was that um, it's actually a superfood when prepared the correct way. Okay. Um, again, there's health, there's health benefits to a glass of wine, but imagine taking those same, that same amount of wine grape right and dehydrating it mm -hmm. you concentrate those polyphenols and the antioxidants into something that is uh is actually 10 times out of one uh so it's it's a breakthrough it's pretty it's pretty cool and uh we're very excited about it and um so so we created the wine raisin company so the way to think about this is like you have a plum what's a dehydrated plum called prune prune you have Here, a yeah. a concord grape or thompson seedless grape that dehydrated is a raisin. Okay. I'm really good at this game. Yeah, I know. Like, like, okay, okay. So, so imagine uh, what's a wine grape with the seed intact. What's that dehydrated called? Cabernetin. That would be a dehydrated Cabernet Sauvignon oh. wine grape with the seed intact, but it's a it's a raisin. And so this is a new fruit that is not in the USDA uh, database of food. Um, and so we're very excited about it. And uh, and so, yes, a dehydrated Cabernet Sauvignon wine grape with the seed intact that's been toasted is called a Cabernetin. We also have Merlaisins, Chardonnaisins, Champaisins, Ceraisins. I love Champaisins. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. And um, so we're really excited about it. And so, I mean, you know, our family back, even in the 1950s, um, before it was cool, 
uh, my grandfather was uh, practicing, you know, um, sustainable farming practices, mm -hmm. composting, worms, um, what's, you know, very on trend right now. And so my dad, my family, we, we don't like to waste things. And um, so that's, that's, that's what we did is we, we take the three to 5% that's left in vineyards mm -hmm. to naturally dehydrate. Um, we go and collect those. And then we also go to sorting tables and we take um, the fruit that is not, um, again, not perfect in some right. cases, mm -hmm. that's used for wine. And then we also go um, and play in, in the spot market, the central market, uh, not the central market, the spot market, where um, the oversupply essentially goes to die. And this is right before it's thrown into a, a landfill. Um, we actually, we take it and we process it um, through a very natural dehydration process. To, uh, to not only give you uniform mouthfeel and texture and taste, but also it extends the shelf life to over two years. Wow. So it's very, I mean, it's a pantry. So if there's an apocalypse, I should come to your house on Mount Veter because you have super foods and they're shelf stable. This is, now we're, now we're talking. <laughs> now we're working. Now, now, we're, now we're talking. Right. So tell me about the process. Okay, so I understand dehydration, but I think when a lot of people come to Napa and they try wine grapes, they're surprised by two things. One, they're small. So they're used to those gigantoid grapes in a grocery store, but two, they're surprised that they're seeds. Mm -hmm. And I know myself when I'm out in the vineyard trying grapes, I always spit the seeds out because they're bitter and astringent. So how do you actually dehydrate and toast the seeds? Are you using like heat to do this or how does that process work? Well, I think the best thing to do is taste one. I agree. And, uh, and you know what? You tell me what you're thinking. Okay. Tell me what you think. Is and and and. The seed again is intact, uh -huh. but the seed is not th like that that you would eat just in a vineyard. That's usually pretty tart. Yeah, it's like it's you want to stir it, right? And you're worried about your teeth like breaking mm -hmm. in half. When it's actually toasted, when it goes through the dehydration process, it um, it uh, it kind of transforms into some, some somewhat of a, a, a an earthy crunch, like an almost a, a, like an almond. Mm -hmm. uh, the way to think about it is like maybe a complex peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Uh, if that makes sense, it has layers of complexity, all the flavors of the wine, but without the alcohol because these are not fermented yet. But they could be. Wait, look, now it's alcoholic. There, there we go. Sorry, no, I'm sorry. I like to play around. Um, <laughs> no, they're actually like the seeds aren't bad, and I'm just gonna warn you, like I'm a weird person. Like even though you can eat shrimp shells, I don't want to. That's weird. Yeah. I don't. Soft shell crab are okay if you fry it, but like I kind of have this like roadblock when it comes to textures that I think shouldn't be there and these are actually these are pretty good well you know it's well thank you um, they're not that bad mm -hmm. um, and I actually, they're not that bad <laughs> <laughs> no keep going no they uh, but but actually what we found is that um, you know the, the consumer really likes the nutty kind of earthy mm -hmm. crunch and it, and it adds a, again another layer and that, again we're talking about health benefits right right everybody's into superfood right you can, I mean if you eat two pounds of kale a day uh, you're doing something good for yourself, right? That um, would be weird, actually. It, it, that would be hard to do. Do you know how much two pounds of kale is? That's what I'm saying. You'd need a blender. You would need um, maybe, a, you know, a dehydrator. A stomach. Yeah, I, or I, yeah, something, you know. something. But, um, but actually, I mean, so this. Let's By put, the way, studio audience, come and get some of these. Yeah, actually, don't be shy, good. please. Nobody here. Not all at once. <laughs> if you're shy and you're here, you're in the wrong place. Um, but 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 yeah. So so if you think about it, this is a 1.6 ounce bag. Um, this is the amount of fruit that is required to go in to make one glass of wine. This is an eight ounce bag. Okay. This eight ounce bag is the amount of fruit that goes in to create one bottle of wine. Okay. So during the wine making process, you can speak to this. What do you mm -hmm. do with the wine grade when you're making when you're making wine? Well, first. What I'm going to do is put it through a December machine and then I'm going to put it onto my optical sorter because everybody knows that everybody has optical sorters. Everyone's sorters. got them. Yeah, Everyone's nobody's doing it. it by hand anymore. No, no, we still do it by hand. And then the grapes go into a fermentation vessel. Like, I prefer them barrel fermented, but, you know, I have an expensive palate. So they'll go in there and then you add some yeast or divinely inspire some natural yeast. And So do you crush the grape? White ones, yes. Okay. Red ones, we allow the natural weight of the grapes on top of one another to allow them to gently burst. Okay, well, romantic. How are you guys doing it? You so, guys are making wine, you guys crushing your red grapes? Uh, no, Why no. didn't you bring us a bottle of wine? Because I can't afford to drink it, personally. <laughs> but, uh, it, it, but it's, uh, what we do is 
we take the same amount of fruit. Mm -hmm. So it's roughly, this 1.6 ounce net weight of the bag mm -hmm. is the, roughly the amount of fruit that goes in to create one glass of wine. So if you take that and instead of putting it through the process like you, like you said, to make mm -hmm. wine, um, you actually just further dehydrate it to the point at which, again, you're concentrating those health benefits that you'd be extracting otherwise through the natural winemaking process. Mm. So, okay, so I know there were some interesting questions that came up earlier when we were talking about this, and I definitely want to get to those. But, I mean, let's talk about practical purpose, because they're really good. I mean, if you haven't noticed, I've just let you talk while I eat all of them. Yeah, save yourself. Um, what do you, so can you, do you just eat them straight? Can you incorporate them into, into recipes like you do with regular raisins or? Yeah, no, I mean, um, so you can do a lot of things. I mean, uh, I've done, I, I've done some, you know, some personal R and D with this in terms of cooking app, you know, application, et cetera. Um, you know, what, 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 you know, what's been interesting, like whenever I've had company over, um, I'll open up a bag and actually lay it out on my cheese tray or my charcuterie board. Mm -hmm. And, um, cause but, this is what we do in Napa, by the way, whenever you come over, we just have yes. cheese and charcuterie boards waiting for you, ready to go. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's a natural fit. Yeah. And uh, so, so I'll pull it out and it'll be on the stem, which is very experiential. And, um, we'll, um, you know, people are like, what is this? And then they'll eat it. And you know, the first reaction is, you know, when you tell them what it is, they're extremely skeptical and then they'll actually eat it and they're like, that's, that's really good. Like, mm -hmm. I really enjoyed that. Like, mm -hmm. and they'll go back for more. Um, oatmeal, great application. Um, mm -hmm. We're actually, hopefully, you know, looking ahead, um, working on a, um, a, uh, a, a breakfast cereal, mm. um, maybe called Cabernet's and Crunch. I don't know. If, <laughs> Is that a favorite know, from the I don't childhood? know. I don't know. Uh, just yeah. thinking outside the box. But, I mean, it, 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 put it on a salad. You know, people add, um, uh, you know, sunflower seeds to a salad to add additional mm -hmm. texture, what have you, a little nutty flavor. It should be great on a salad, actually. Oh, yeah. You have some goat cheese. And salads are like really boring, so you have to give them some yeah, kind of right. fluff to make you, them interesting. You got to. Well, mm -hmm. obviously you could have some kale. If you're going to eliminate two pounds of kale out of your diet, maybe an exciting salad might be the preferred route to go. There well, you go. Mm -hmm. Well, you could put them in a kale salad. Well, obviously. You need your antioxidants to counterbalance the kale because mm -hmm. we all know how unhealthy kale is. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's slowly going to kill me. So there was a question. I don't know if Michael's still here. Michael, are you here? Michael had a really great question earlier. Do you remember your question? I do if you forgot. Uh, I did forget. Okay, so Michael had this really great insightful question earlier. Um, are there more health benefits from wine grapes that are dehydrated and turned into raisins versus whatever it is I find at the grocery store if I were to dehydrate them and turn them into raisins? It's, it's actually a completely different animal. It's um, so... More plant. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, short. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. It was like uh, no, too that, well that was set good. up there that was for good. me. Uh, it, it is, it is a, um, it, it, it's a completely different fruit. Um, really? Yeah. Why? Why? Because they're the both, seed. They're grapes. They are grapes. They are grapes. So but the seed is, has like magical properties to it. Well, y you know as well as I know that a wine grape is smaller, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It does have thicker skins. Mm -hmm. It does have a seed inside. Mm-hmm. And uh, arguably, it's up for debate, but everyone knows that they taste better. Well, that's real. They have real. more flavor. They does, have more complexity. Does the seed have nutritional properties to it? That is the that's the mitochondria of the health benefits right there. Oh. And uh, you know it, that's it's it's jam 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 full of them. Wow. So, every, so the entire time I've been out in the vineyard tasting fruit, spreading the seeds out. Yeah, you're doing yourself a massive disservice. God, why didn't I meet you like four years ago? You could have helped me so much. I know. I know. So where where does the company go from now? Because I know that you're launching your site um, in a couple of days now. Like yeah. next week, you guys are going to be up. We have we have a landing page right now. Uh -huh. um, so What's your website? Uh, Raisin.com. How do I spell that? R a y z y n. R a y z y n. Like yeah. rays of the sun, in Zinfandel. No, maybe. Just go the, with the, it. Yeah, sure. It sounded, that's it that's exactly good. what it is. Oh, I'm so uh, glad I guessed and, that. Uh, first so so we're um we're we we have, we have a landing page up right now. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be having um, I guess the direct consumer sort of e-commerce will be up um, August 10th. Knock on wood. And mm -hmm. um, we uh, we've had a very successful. We launched our test market in Napa in San Francisco 
um, probably about five weeks ago and have been um, very pleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm. We also went to the Gourmet Food and Gift Show in Atlanta and uh, there was a, about a three or four day period and had a booth. Family was there. Um, and it really kind of blew us away because we, we, we sold into 66 different retailers wow. in, in 23 states. Wow. Okay, so I love this. What are some of the retailers where I can get your product? Can I get them here? You can get them here. Okay, where? Um, so our test market was about, about call it 10, 10 stores, mm -hmm. everywhere from uh, um, the, let's see, Calmart, Culinary Institute, mm -hmm. Oakville Grocery, okay. Bounds, Browns Valley Market, okay. Valergus. I've been to some of these places actually. They're phenomenal Surprising. establishments. Um, uh, v Wine Cellar in mm -hmm. Yonville. Um, where else? Uh, Marina Meats in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Nature Select Foods in St. Helena. Wow. Um, and the Napa Tourist and Information Center in downtown Napa. So, so when I'm out traveling though, you said you were in 20, 20 something states? Oh yeah. Who carries you like out there? <clears throat> if there are any like big names that like I could just go, oh my gosh, I need my antioxidants and I'm stuck in O state, where would I go? Well, let's say, um, let's see some of our, our, our friends, partners like the Biltmore State mm. in Asheville. Mm -hmm. yep. um, there's a couple places in Atlanta, but it, it's pretty much pretty diverse um, across all oh, of- Oh, we're not uh, talking a lot enough, Susan? No, it keeps falling down. Oh. Where would you like, like to see? Happens. Where would you like to see your product go nationally? I mean, are there any big brands that you would love to see like walk in and say like, "Wow, there you are." I mean, I'm. I'm uh, People might be watching, so it never hurts to just mention a brand you'd like to work foods? with. We're, we're we're working on that. What what we're what we're trying to people. do Impressive. is we are trying to you know build this brand organically, and I think mm -hmm. it's so much more than just a product like a Cabernetzen, right? What we really want to do, and this sounds cliche, but okay. I mean, we, we, we want to kind of change how people think, not only about waste, mm -hmm. right? Because people are throwing away for centuries. We, the industry mm -hmm. industry has been throwing away uh, something that's arguably one of the best things on yeah. earth to put in your body. No, and they're addictive. Like, have you seen me? St I haven't stopped well, eating them. Yeah, the easy, easy time. merchandise. So, uh, but, <laughs> no, 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 I told you I only do this for the samples. Let's see what I just set myself back here. I'm um, but 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 you know we, we, we waste is not an option. I mean, the U.S. is one of the arguably one of the most affluent um, countries in the world, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we're also one of the most wasteful. I mean, 25% of our food goes into landfills each year. That's over 35 and a half billion. Wow. Billion tons, um, and this is contributing to that. So it says here that I can eat one ounce in a, a sitting. I'm pretty sure ounce. I just did. And that there's only 0.1 grams of fat. It's, that's amazing. If that's you, if you're If you're fat conscious in your diet, this could be, could be, could be, could be an answer. I don't it know. It could be an answer. It could be. Yeah. And there's only 85 calories, which is less than yeah. an apple. Yeah. Reasonable. And this was way more fun. Reasonable. Okay, just, I'm just going to keep these over here. Um, and so, yeah. And, and, and the, the other thing we do as, as this upcycling company is, is we take, um, Go around to, to tasting rooms, and you know, well, what's what's? You know, let me ask you this: What what is the um, besides grape refuse, mm -hmm. as you will, or grape waste? What um, what other waste product? Glass. Glass. Glass bottles. Glass bottles. In the average tasting room, uh, like I'm just going to tell you, you get 16 pours per bottle. So if you have four wines on your list, right, and you see 16 people, you've now got four bottles. Now, how many people do you think an average tasting room sees in a day? That's a lot of glass. It's a lot of glass. It's a lot of glass. So that's a lot of waste. And you don't get any money for it. You don't. When you recycle it. You pay. There is no CRV on a wine bottle, okay? I've tried. You pay. So, what we've come up with is actually taking a wine bottle, cutting it in half, turning it upside down. You know what you have here? Hmm. You have a sustainable wine goblet. It's just not big enough. Can we like cut it like halfway through the bottle? It would, I tall. We can have grande sizes. I love that. We can, we grande, can, like super size me? We can, oh do, we can do super size. We're not size bad. does matter when you're talking about size the size of a wine glass. Mm -hmm. Baby steps, Jay. Mm -hmm. Baby yeah. steps. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and so like like this is uh, this is pretty cool, and, and you know, dishwasher safe, fun, um, and it's an experience. And so, you know, your favorite winery, what have you? Mm -hmm. Why not drink out of their tasting room bottles and have their Cabernetsons inside there? Mm. 
I don't know. I'm just spitballing. I like it. I like it. <laughs> so we've had a lot of artists and producers on here, which I, I love, 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 because I feel like I'm getting the inside scoop. I mean, your site hasn't even launched. So really, you're hearing it here first. What have been some of the struggles that you've had to overcome in launching this brand? Is like anything gone catastrophically wrong or... You know, I, for one, kept misspelling your email address, so I know that that's <laughs> got to be a challenge, but what are some of the other things, or maybe successes, that you've had along the way? Oh, well, we got a great team, first of all. How I large is your team? It is really five, six people. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's like a very small little enterprise. Dude, it, it, enterprise I mean, it, it, it's, 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 it's family, mm -hmm. um, and it's uh, people that are very close to becoming family. Uh -huh. um, and it, it's just been a pleasure to work with them and everybody's so positive. And I'll tell you what, you know, the whole concept of like, um, you know, doing what you're good at, like mm -hmm. spreading up a task, like this packaging, if you put me in a cube and you said, <laughs> listen, I will give you a hundred million dollars to come up with something that looks half as good as this. Right. Dude, no way. No way. I'm like an Excel spreadsheet guy. Like, you know, it's, oh. it's, 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 these guys are amazing. And, you know, I, I guess in terms of. You're an Excel spreadsheet guy? Yeah. How do you go from Excel spreadsheets to superfoods? That just doesn't know. seem. I, I, Did you I, do Excel spreadsheets in your past life? I, I have. I've been, I've been, I've, I got, you know, I got some skills. Okay. Got some skills, right. you know. Just um, for it. Yeah, you know, some nerdy skills, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, what's your previous career before jumping in and taking the initiative and wanting to work with such a fantastic brand? Uh, well, I was in I was in finance. I was a trader, um, so I moved out here from New York um, about six years ago to work for a hedge fund asset manager, and um, so so every day you have monogram uh, belt buckles. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, and. Uh, so I, I, you know, one of the other, like I said, no, like one of the things that I've always wanted to do is grow my hair. Yeah. And so every day I wake up is. I noticed we have our hair ties. We're we like do. twins. We do. So <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, I'm trying. I'm if trying you need to borrow one. I have you to. Know, trying to trying to look green. <laughs> but uh, you know, in terms in terms of um, truly like in ter there's been a lot of um, with any business that you start. I mean, there's there's a lot of um, ups and downs. Yeah. Um, things that work out, things that don't. Uh, you learn very quickly, and uh, what, what we've actually found has been a good problem. Um, that we uh, so we're sold out. Like we don't we what? don't ha we don't have any 2014 supply. We've actually um, we pre-sold. Uh, I know. Wait, I need that back. No, you yeah. no. Yeah. no, no don't try to hide in your pashmina. Saw so, so <laughs> perks. No. So that, I mean, it, it, it's it's. We could have been friends with benefits. You know, maybe one can fall off the truck. I don't know. I'm not. I, I'm not telling. <laughs> You're like this close. But yeah, it's it just. It's kind of. It, it, You're it's. You're sold out. Sold so out. when do we get more? Like, do I have to wait for harvest? Harvest. Thank God, it's already so started. For, for that food show, we had to. We had to pre-sell. So the the orders that are in, um, they're going to be delivered no later. No later than October fifteenth. So it's going to be an early harvest this year. Wow. I hope that that continues. So the turnaround time from harvest to making the packaging and delivery is what's your time ratio? Is that including shipping? Uh, well, all depends. Can I do rush shipping if you I can have do, to? Y yes, of course. Okay, yeah. so so the quickest turnaround time, and don't hold me to this, Jay. This is just how it is on paper. Because I've never, you know, you never floored it, right? You don't want to break the engine. Right. It's probably uh, around three, three and a half days. Wow, that's fast. That's, that's on the fast end. A typical turnaround is probably about a week. Okay. Um, but, you know, we're, uh, well, I'll get back to you in about two months and tell you exactly how fast <laughs> or how slow it can be. So, uh, finance guy, by the way, um, how much is this going to set me back? Because I've already, li I licked it earlier, so it's, it's mine. So, eight ounce bag. So, we can't sell this one. So, no, <laughs> so if she eats that tonight, how much do we owe you? Yes. All right. So, so um, the uh, depending on where you can pick this, I mean, you can pick it up anywhere from from ten to fifteen bucks for uh -huh. the eight ounce, uh -huh. and you know, right around four or five bucks on the one point six. Nice. So it's um, those are like the lunch size. Yeah, this is just like you're on the go. Please you know? take the larger bag away from her and give her the smaller. Bag. No, I licked this she one. She licked it, dude. Well, <laughs> it's sticky. <laughs> That means it's mine. This is the exactly. Rules. She owns it. It's gone. Huh? It's gone. You can have that. No, thanks. 
Perfect. I love that. So anything else? What else? What else? Because we're going to run out of time. So website. Website. R-A-Y-Z-Y-N dot like, com. Please like us on Facebook. We're, um, we're, Ooh, we're, we're just Facebook? soliciting friendships right now, followers. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. So that would, you know, I want to be your friend. Is there a Twitter and Instagram handle that we should know about? Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that's why that's, you're here, Jay. That's, uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna try to do, do some serious social networking. Like, I'm not very good at that, but people on our team are. You so should, yeah, look should, for those. I should introduce you to my friend Jay, because he actually is really good at that. You're, you're pretty good at that? You're well, you came to TootSuite, which is basically the king uh -huh. of social media. So that is real. Is there a hashtag raisin, or could we create that now? So wine raisin. you have a product at home? Yeah. Wine, wine, wine raisin. raisin. Wine hashtag raisin. wine raisin. Yes. It's my hashtag mark. So. All right. Well, that's all the time that we have today for Toot Sweet. I appreciate you all for joining in. Andrew, thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you so much for letting me. me eat all of your Cabernetsons. Thank you. And this has been wonderful. Have a great night. Thank you. Thank you.